Last week, I told you I was taking my Aston Martin on an 800 mile road trip to Vermont and back to see how it performs on my new studded winter tires. Well, here's what happened. The 350 mile drive from Philadelphia to Vermont went off without a hitch. Then I visited the good people at Nokian Tires in Burlington who provided me with my studded snow tires and showed me a lot of tires. Then it was time to get out and enjoy my Aston Martin on the snow with only one little problem. There is no snow. Vermont is having an unseasonably warm, snowless winter and there isn't any snow anywhere. The result is that I've driven 400 miles for snow and the only snow there is is in big plowed piles at the edge of parking lots. I was bemoaning the lack of snow to my friend Bill, who's a reader who I met who lives up here, and he said, why don't you take the car out on a frozen lake? And I said, Bill, I'm not taking the car on a frozen lake. And now here we are at a frozen lake. So Bill, please explain this to me. Are we gonna die? Probably not today. <laughs> and how can you be sure of that? <laughs> Nothing's for certain. Okay, well that's good. That's nice and comforting. So, is this legal? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. We can, or, or they're, like, if the cops show up, they're not going to be like, get out of the lake. Nope, it's a state highway. This is a state highway. Now, I didn't believe Bill when he told me this yesterday, so I actually went and looked this up in the Vermont Driver Handbook. This is a public road when it's icy, and there's a speed limit, and you just have to uh, obey the speed limit, and, and anybody can do this. How much ice do you need in order to not fall through? So, you need about eight inches. Eight inches? Yep. Okay. And do we, how much ice is out there right now? Uh, somewhere between eight and ten. Eight and ten. Okay, we're right on the cusp. Just how we like it. So, uh, are you ready? Yeah. It was good to know you, Doug. <laughs> God, I'm so scared. We're gonna die. And so, I approached the lake. I've never been in my life this nervous filming one of these videos before. God, I'm so scared. I'm driving on a lake. I'm driving on a lake. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm, so, I'm absolutely 100% gonna die. This is the scariest thing I've ever done. Get me out of here! After a while, my fear died down and I started getting my bearings. God, I hope I don't break down on this lake. I'm so scared, but like, it's it's just kind of normal. And actually, the tires are so good. Oh, it slides a little, it slides a little, but it's very controllable. This is crazy, I'm driving on an ice lake. I'm driving on an ice lake in an Aston Martin. I'm James Bond! I don't feel like James Bond, no. <laughs> I'm not as scared as a person can feel doing something. And eventually, I started to get the hang of it. Then it was time to move on to a different form of fun. Okay, so you may have noticed the Corolla drifting in the background of some of the shots here. This belongs to Paul. Paul's sort of our ice driving Sherpa out here. Uh, Paul, tell us about your Corolla and the tires that you have on it at the moment. Um, so these tires started their life as a regular snow tire and then it put about 150 holes in them and put bolts through from the inside out and then uh, washers and lock nuts to kind of Sizz them all down and then sharpen them with what's called a stud sharpener. So they're a bunch of uh, pencil point sharp, incredibly hard, reliable, super grippy tires now. Okay, so there are actual bolts stuck in these, in these, so like, do you buy them at Home Depot or whatever? Yeah. Okay, now 150 in each tire? 150 per tire, yeah. So we've had a lot of fun out here today. Now we're gonna have even more fun. We're gonna do a little drag race. So there's a 200,000 mile Corolla with, with dents and some rust spots. Uh, against an Aston Martin on a lake. You will only see this here, I promise. 
And so the Aston and the Corolla lined up. I, uh, I didn't win. And with that, it was time to get off the lake and back on to dry land. So I would say there are two major takeaways from this trip. Number one, these tires were awesome. No, I didn't find any snow. Instead, I found pure, thick, packed ice. And the tires did an amazing job handling it. They got the car started, stopped, turning on pure ice. And that's no easy task when you have 400 horsepower. Number two, this car. I know I've given this car some crap for reliability, but it made it up here 900 total miles every day below freezing. Overnight, come out, there's frost on it. I got it on on the ice, had no problems. Everything works, runs, drives, no lights, no noises. Maybe this car actually is a little bit reliable. One last thing. Thank you to everyone who I met up with in Vermont. I got 51 emails from readers and viewers who asked to meet up, and I saw almost 40 of you. You were so kind and so nice that I found it hard to believe I was still in the Northeast. Oh shit. <laughs>